Today is September 24th. It is the first weekend in fall and I'm getting ready to do my fall seed planting. I'm going to start a bunch of seeds indoors in soil blocks. I'll show you in a different video how I make soil blocks. But I'm just going to show you uh, where I get seeds from and what seeds I'm planting this fall. Um, so uh, one place I get a lot of seeds from is Johnny Seeds. I get a lot from Heirloom Seeds, um, Seed Savers Exchange. This one's Baker Creek. Um, this is the only thing I've ever gotten from Patriot Seeds. I don't know. Um, I've never gotten anything else. Um, this, uh, see more Johnny Seeds, more Baker Creek. Oh, and then Echo. Um, this is from Echo Farms, which is down in uh, Fort Myers. They have a lot of plants for hot, humid regions like ours. Um, I like, they're a cool place to visit. I really like uh, Echo Farms. So, and then I got some from Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. So here's what I'm going to be planting. Um, this is sage, dill, parsley, thyme, caraway, lemon balm, marigold, calendula flowers, carrots, a different type of carrots. Uh, this is purple carrots that I got as a free gift in one of my orders from Baker Creek. Um, this is a type of baby bok choy. This is another type of baby choy. Broccoli, cauliflower, Swiss chard, Ethiopian kale. Um, this is one I really like that I got from Echo. It's a heat tolerant type of kale. It's more heat tolerant than the other ones that I've grown and it grows prolifically. So um, I like that one. It's kind of strange. It, it sort of reminds me of a mix between a collard green and kale. Um, it's just different. I don't know how to describe it, but it has a mild flavor and it grows really well and I like it. Um, so that one, Ethiopian kale is heat tolerant. This Russian red kale is not very heat tolerant. It's very, it likes the cold, um, which I mean, it makes sense. It's Russian red kale. Um, I think you pronounce this lacinato kale. It also goes by the name dinosaur kale and Tuscan kale, it's my favorite kind. I've got two types of collards. I'm growing Morris Heading collards and Champion collards. And then I've got some different types of lettuces. This is called Adriana, it's a butterhead lettuce. Jericho Romaine lettuce, um, this is one of my favorite. It's heat tolerant more so than any of the other ones I've tried. Um, and then this is just a blend, I have this is from two different years. Obviously this is older. You can kind of tell from the package being discolored, but um, these are the same, supposed to be the same mix, but I kind of think that some of the things in the mix might be different from year to year. So I'm gonna plant from both of these. I really like this mix. It has some red and green um, oak leaf type lettuces and some romaine in there and um, it's just a blend and I like most of the, I like all of the things that I've, that come in the blend. So, um, those are some of my favorite lettuces. Um, also, so all of these that I just showed you, I'm going to plant in soil blocks indoors, um, and I will transplant them outside in October in about four weeks. Um, but then these, um, I've got a few types of beans. This is pole beans. And this is actually peas. It's cow peas. They're purple cow peas. They're sort of like black eyed peas, but purple. Um, and then these yard long beans, which 
aren't actually a yard long, but they are literally like a foot long and they grow prolifically. They're easy to grow. Um, they're from Echo, so they are heat tolerant. Um, so these um, beans and peas, I will direct seed outside. Um, they won't get started indoors because they, they're best to just sow them directly into the ground. Um, and then I'm just going to mention um, tomatoes and peppers. Um, I already started my tomatoes and peppers and um, I started them in, it was actually July 30th, so pretty much the beginning of August, right at the beginning of August, these were started and um, I transplanted them outdoors uh, last month, I guess, at the end of August. Um, so they're already transplanted. It's a little bit late to be starting tomatoes and peppers um, right now, but I think you still could. And I'm going to go ahead and start some for a friend who has a garden and she doesn't have any, um, she doesn't have anything to put in her garden yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and start some of these for her and, um, hopefully they'll do okay, even though it's a little bit late to start these. Um, also I'll mention, I, I don't have any packets out right now, but I already started, um, some cucumber and squash and zucchini outside. I direct seeded them about two weeks ago and they're already growing outside. So um, that's most of my fall garden. I've got some cabbage I'm going to start too, but I'm going to wait to start it because the packet says it really needs to be cooler outside, like, like a high of 75. And um, it's definitely not that cool out yet. So um, yeah, so all of these that I showed you are cool season crops. So it's actually, you could direct seed most of these outside, but I wouldn't do it now. Um, it's still a little too hot to direct seed most of these. So I'm starting them indoors just to get a jump on the season and I'll start them out and then I'll transplant them outside in October. If you were gonna direct sow these, I wouldn't do it until, um, sometime probably in like late October when it's really starting to get a lot cooler outside and when we're not having hot days because it's still now that it's late September and it's it's now fall but it's still it's still very hot in the middle of the day it's noticeably cooler in the mornings and the evenings but it's just cooler not cool so I would I would wait if you're going to direct sow outside. But then all of these tomatoes and peppers are, and beans are all warm season um, crops. So, and, and same with squash and zucchini and cucumbers, all of those are warm season vegetables. So they are fine to be outside right now. Um, and in fact, peppers and tomatoes take so long to grow that it's really good to get a early start on those so that they have time to grow before it gets cold out. Um, so that's why I started them, um, it was close to August 1st. It was actually July 30th when I started them. So, um, I would say just the end of July, early August is the best time to start tomatoes and peppers indoors. But if it was the beginning of September, I would still say it's a good time to start tomatoes and peppers from seed. But now that it's getting late in September, not so great, but I think you could probably still do it. It just depends on if how early our cold spell comes this year. Sometimes we don't get a cold spell until January and then it's fine. But um, if we get an early cold spell this year, then the tomatoes and peppers might suffer. But we'll just have to see. I'm going to go ahead and plant some anyway. Um, so I'm going to get started on these. I've got to go make my soil blocks and... And I'll plant these and put them in trays inside under a grow light. So also I'll just mention that this is the very beginning of fall. So you still have plenty of time. If you're wanting to grow these um, cool season crops, you've got, you can pretty much do it throughout the winter. Most of these things will grow. Um, all of the cool season crops will grow 
throughout the winter. Some of them can even handle a little bit of a freeze, but not all of them. Um, so you can really keep planting through October and November. And um, if we do get a freeze, you can start planting again right after the freeze. And um, so you still have plenty of time if you're not ready to plant uh, cool season crops yet. Just, um, just start thinking about what you want to do and uh, you've got a couple of months to do it. So, all right. Well, happy fall.